Like I said, we're gonna be working a lot on the sweeps from the same set of grips we've been working on. And uh, I chose to start the first one very basic, using a lot of the off balance and the concepts that you guys seen before, and adding that, combining with the sweep. And then based on my partner's reaction defense on top, I would like to build the sweeps on top of it. So you guys will see how the first sweep will connect to the second one, that will connect to the third one. And the idea for you guys is to make sure that you chain your techniques together. A lot of times you learn one sweep and you try to hit it that one sweep all the time, just going from zero to one and trying to hit it. If you're not successful with it, your partner on top begins to start attacking your guard and then now you're just defending. So that's why every time I'm trying to drill, I'm trying to, you know, I focus on one uh, set of grips. I try to always come up with different sweeps without switching my grips too much. I feel like sometimes we, uh, we learn so many different techniques from so many different set of grips. And I believe that the key to sweep your partner from the bottom is to always make sure you're consistent on one set of grip and you use techniques to combine uh, the sweeps to each other until you're successfully able to come on top. If you begin to switch grips too much too early, you will see yourself getting to so many different positions and not being able to finish any of those sweeps. Okay, so that's why from the beginning I want you guys to think this way. The set of grips is going to be the same side call and elbow. Now, the only thing that's going to be changed is going to be the direction that I'm going and a few details that I'm going to be using with my legs. Okay, but the idea with the grips will always remain the same from the beginning to the end. So we're going to start from the close guard. And uh, I think for all of every sweep that you guys do from the same side call and elbow will require you guys the off balancing. Okay, so if you guys try to sweep it right away without momentum, you guys might be able to hit it if your partner is allowing you to drill but when we're looking at a, a realistic scenario where my opponent is trying to defend, is trying to pass my guard, I feel like it becomes pretty hard for me to finish that sweep with that momentum. Okay, so the off balance will create the momentum. You will initiate the movement for me. And I feel everything else gets done with the details that we learned. Okay, so same side collar, same side elbow is going to stand up. As soon as it stands up, remember, I don't want to open my guard right away. I want to make sure that I bring my shin across. Now it's where I initiate the momentum. So I pull, push, and I step. Okay, let's turn this way. For the first sweep, my sweep is going to be preparing this position that I have it here before I even go for the de la Riva. Okay, so look all, as soon as I start to elevate my hips to swing my leg, I'm going to plan on going to the de la Riva, but go all the way instead of stopping halfway. So you guys saw how when we elevate our hips, it creates momentum. First, get to the de la Riva position. But I don't want only to get to the level position, I want to go all the way. So you guys will see how my De La Riva, sometimes I use this detail a lot where if I'm not able, so let's say, if I'm able to get the hook, sometimes I don't bend my partner's knee like I want to. Okay, so I'm going to go for the sweep, for example. Let's go this way, spin, 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 spin. So I'm going to go one, look how I enter my hook, and his knee never moved. Okay, I never apply any pressure on the knee. So if that's the case, what you want to do is that you want to use the back of your heel to bend your partner's knee. So look how I use the back of my heel to bend the knee to the inside, okay? I don't want to be trying to sweep my partner and he's just basing with that De La Riva leg. So a lot of times when I go one and I enter the hook, look how he's basing with the knee. So I'm not able to sweep, okay? And sometimes when I do make my partner fall off balance, he pulls the knee open. Okay, so it starts to open the knee, and then I end up losing that position. So for this sweep, you guys will use a lot of your heel. So instead of entering the hook with your toes, you're gonna use your heel to bend your partner's leg. Okay, so like if you're chopping the base right there. So I'm gonna go, I open the guard, end up in this position, I swing, chop. Okay, look how I was able to turn his knee to the inside, I was able to put him on his back. He was not able to pose because of the grip that I have right here on the elbow. And now it's very important for me to come on top the right way. If you guys stop here and I try to just pose and come on top, look where I end up. You guys will always end up in this one leg X position. And that's another concept that you guys can pay attention to. I feel like the good competitors, they'll always find a way to free their legs before they come up. Because if I come up into the one leg X position, 
It's gonna take a long time for me to take it apart, for me to escape and then initiate passing. Okay, when, if I do the right technique, if I spend a few seconds taking my leg out of this position or making sure that I go straight to a dominant position, I'm not gonna face that one leg uh, situation. Okay, I'm gonna go straight into attacking position. So go back there. He stands up. One, two, now I go. Look how when I chop the leg, he falls. Okay, now it's where we're gonna look at getting on top. So look how I'm gonna maintain my knee connection the entire time. So take your hand out. So you guys can see how I maintain my knee connected and I never open to try to get on top. Okay, so I'm gonna maintain my knees connected and what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna put all my weight towards my feet. Okay, so I'm not gonna try to mount him right away, so I'm not gonna try to mount him. I'm gonna drive my knees together and I'm gonna stretch my hips until I feel all my weight goes to my heels. So I keep my grips on the upper body connected and I start doing this. Okay, once you guys get to this top position, what you wanna do is that you wanna control your partner's hip by using your heel on the opposite side. Okay, look how I'm, I was posting my elbow at first, now I'm up to my shoulder, okay? So once you guys get up to your shoulder, now you're gonna roll and try to go all the way on top. So look how I pull myself using that collar grip. And then you guys get on top, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys a few different ways to get on top. This is the very first one, okay? And I want you guys to pay attention to the second ones. So I'm gonna do the first one one more time. So close guard. Elbow on the same side, he stands up. One, I off balance, I step, now I go. Remember, don't use your toes, use your heel. So I use swing, I chop it to the inside, I stretch on top of my partner, and then now you guys can use the hand that goes on the car to pose, but I maintain my elbow control the whole time, okay? Because sometimes he begins to turn and try to escape, but look how the elbow is going to stop him from being able to escape and push my knees away. Another thing that helps is the more momentum you guys use to sweep your partner, the easier it will be for you, to guys, for you guys to get on top. A lot of times you're trying to sweep and when you first learn the technique, you're drilling step by step, you will find it difficult to get on top. When you add the momentum, you're going to find yourself on the top position without uh, worrying so much about uh, even putting your knees together, driving your heels, it's gonna be very natural for you to find that top position. So again, close guard, he stands up. One, two, look, the key detail is to drop the knee. Okay, so I go one, two. Look how I was able to get on top, you know, without giving a few seconds on that double pull position where we're both laying down, facing each other. He has the opportunity to start bringing my leg into the one leg X. I went straight for the De La Riva, chopping the base, going straight to the mount position, okay? I'm gonna do a few more times, just so you guys see the technique. And I want you guys to pay attention on the part that I chopped the knee, okay? Let's go this way. One, two, three. Uh, let's go this way here. He stands up. One, two, look down. Swing, chop. So you guys see how I'm not even worrying about setting up the little heave hook, but I am focusing on swinging my leg, once I get to the right angle, I chop the base, okay? All his weight is focused on the front leg. Once I chop that base to the inside, you, my partner is gonna be always off balance. So, take a look on. The reason why my partner's weight is forward is because I'm hanging heavy in the collars. So he's gonna stand up. So look how I go one, two, and I'm right here, look, creating tension on the upper body. So what that does is that puts all the weight into this leg right here. 
Okay, and when I'm swinging, that leg becomes his front base. Okay, so look how when I swing, this leg is the base. Okay, so if I take this leg out, he's gonna be off balance. And because my grips are on the upper body, he does not have the elbow or hand to post. All right, so I'm here. So I go one, two. All right, now I start to come all the way up maintaining my elbow control. <laughs>